Hi, this is Dr. Tom Rogers at Performance Medicine coming to you today with the weekly Common Sense MD podcast, and I hope you're doing well. You know, I have a great group of patients. One of my really good patients, and there are many, brought me this book um, not too long ago, if you can read it. It's titled The Pycnogenol Phenomenon, The Most Unique and Versatile Health Supplement. And, you know, after I read this, I kind of agree that this is a really unique, amazing supplement that you should probably be taking, especially as you're aging. But I've known about pycnogenol for quite some time. I've taken it off and on. But after reading this book, I've been taking it every day for sure. It's got so many benefits to it. It's unbelievable. Um, It was written by these two PhDs. I'm not going to pronounce their names because it doesn't matter. But these are two PhDs that have studied this compound their entire life. I mean, they're old. They're older than me. And they've been studying pycnogenol, this one substance, their whole lives. And so they've got a lot of credibility. Um, pycnogenol is, is a bioflavonoid. Um, it's another bioflavonoid that you probably know about is quercetin. That means it comes from plants. It's a bioflavonoid. It helps other vitamins work better and has a lot of unique properties on its own. But um, you need it, and it comes from the plant kingdom, especially it comes from the good part of fruits. Um, You know, my motto at Performance Medicine is really, for a long time, has been live better longer. You don't want to live longer if you're not living better. So I want you to live better, longer, and I think we will. Um, So this is pycnogenol. Write that down. It's an amazing anti-aging nutrient. Um, This bioflavonoid comes from the French maritime pine tree. It's actually the bark of this pine tree, um, harvested after they right after they cut the tree. Um, and it really has five mechanisms um, to help you age better. One, it helps oxidative stress, which is kind of like rust. So what happens is you get old, you kind of rust. Um, it helps limit membrane damage. Every cell in your body has a membrane, and that mem- membrane needs to be intact. If it gets leaky or parts come in or go out, It's bad. Um, It also limits DNA damage. You know, when you think about DNA damage, you think about cancer and those type of things. Um, You think about the telomeres at the ends of your chromosomes becoming shorter too quickly, and that's what really ages you. Um, It limits inflammation, which, as you know, is the root of all diseases. So it really limits inflammation. And it limits glycation. Now, glycation think, is when sugar or glucose bonds to proteins and fats. And it's a bad thing when that happens. It's another one of those triads of inflammation, oxidation, and glycation. Um, this is why diabetics uh, don't do too well with a lot of things. Um, so let me give you a few examples about how this nutrient works, this pycnogenol. That's going to be on everybody's mind, and I'm going to get a million calls about it um, in the office this week. Um, A lot of people think of it as just helping your skin. Um, One thing about your skin, which is the largest largest organ in your body, in my opinion, skin is really more than, a beauty is more than just skin deep. I think that's how I put it. Beauty is more than just skin deep. And it's true, What's happening on the outside, the way your skin is looking, is happening on the inside as well. Um, All those things we just talked about with the oxidative stress, inflammation, DNA damage, etc. So um, if your skin's looking worse and getting skin cancers and um, wrinkling and things, then same thing's happening on the inside as well. Um, So pycnogenol works by rejuvenating the skin by helping the collagen production and elasticity and prevents the collagen from degrading. Um, 
And it works internally, too, by lowering glucose levels. It's great for diabetics. Um, and it increases nitric oxide. That's one of the main functions of pycnogenol is increasing that gas that kind of expands your arteries and promotes healing and performance. Um, it's, it's like dilating your blood vessels, which also, by the way, lowers your blood pressure, which is also good. Um, but for skin, it's known to help prevent sunburn and wrinkles. Um, you know, sunburn is bad. It leads to skin cancer, as I've said many times. Uh, you need sun for the vitamin D and a lot of other good, good effects. But pycnogenol, which you can take orally, they also have a cream that some people make, but most people just take it as a supplement. It can protect you against sunburns when you take the capsule internally. It also helps melasma. If you know what melasma is, it's an abnormal pigmentation in areas of uh, particular areas of your uh, body. Like a lot of pregnant women get melasma on their face. It's kind of a semi-permanent, unless, unless you can do some things about it, um, uh, pigmentation that kind of looks rough on you. So uh, it's been shown to help melasma as well as protect your skin from sunburn. Um, it helps chronic venous insufficiency. Think about swollen legs. You know, I do a lot of work with spider veins in my office and then now I refer most of the varicose veins out, which is just a more severe condition of venous insufficiency. You know, your blood has to travel from your heart down to your feet, um, and it's pumped out with your heart muscle through your arteries, which are strong, durable, tough. It gets down to your feet, has to come back against gravity without a pump, except for the little bit that your calf muscle does. Um, and it has to come back through thin-walled, fragile veins. And these veins have valves in them. So when the blood goes up, they snap shut so you won't get backflow. If you didn't have these, all your blood would be in your feet because of gravity. So venous insufficiency is when these valves get leaky. But it also could signify something more major going on, like congestive heart failure. Think about that. But... Um, you can get swollen legs uh, from a lot of reasons, mostly venous insufficiency from gravity and uh, degeneration of your veins. Um, and it can be serious. I mean, if you have a lot of it, you can form uh, blood clots. You can uh, have ulcerations on the skin. The skin can get so tight it can start breaking down and get ulcerations on it. They can be almost impossible to heal and then you can get infection and that's really bad when it gets that pycnogenol helps that um, and you want to get it sooner than later believe me um, pycnogenol helps your artery health in, in, in addition to your heart um, and, and like a lot of famous doctors have always said you're only as healthy as your arteries are healthy very true the biggest killer, of course, is heart disease. And this is the main reason in my mind to take pycnogenol to help protect your heart. But it does so much more. Um, it starts with your endothelium, which is the innermost layer of your arteries. The most important thing in preventing heart attacks and strokes is to keep that endothelium healthy. Um, that's where you can get clogging of the arteries with cholesterol deposits, etc. But these deposits are not what kills you. It's usually blood clots. So what happens is you get platelet, platelet activation. Platelets stop bleeding. And when you get platelet activated excessively, you form clots that clog the arteries and cause heart attacks and strokes. Pycnogenol helps prevent that platelet aggregation as we talked um, or that platelet stickiness um, you don't want sticky platelets it does that by decreasing um, a clot inducing protein called thromboxane you'll hear that a lot uh, when we talk about covid um, so pycnogenol um, they've done studies on airline passengers you know if you take 
uh, a jet to California, you're on a jet for four or five hours and you don't move around, you have a very high chance, especially with risk factors, of getting a blood clot, a DVT, deep vein thrombosis, which can be fatal. Uh, always need treatment. Um, and they did studies and they found that the people that took pycnogenol before and right after their plane flights were about six times less likely to form blood clots on airplanes. And it definitely helps that pooling of fluid in your ankles when you've been on your feet quite a bit. Um, pycnogenol also decreases your blood sugars. It's great for uh, diabetics. Um, it's great for people that are insulin resistant, which is most of us. Um, it protects your brain from oxidation and inflammation and therefore can decrease the risk of Alzheimer's dementia. Very important. The other thing it does that people think about it, it eases arthritis um, because of that inflammation, glycation, oxidation. And as you age, almost every one of us gets some degenerative arthritis. I know I have. Um, it helps allergies and asthma especially in kids, because it blocks histamine. Um, it helps jet lag, not just from decreasing the swelling in your ankles, but from decreasing the swelling in your brain. That's why a lot of people think causes jet lag, swelling of your brain. Um, it decreases uh, the incidence and the severity of hemorrhoids, which are swollen veins. Um, there's a lot of evidence that it can decrease ringing in the ears, tinnitus. Um, it helps in dysmenorrhea, painful periods. Um, it can help decrease menopausal symptoms along with bioidentical hormones. Um, it helps erectile dysfunction in men, uh, especially in combination with L-arginine. If you've ever gotten a product from my office called Prelox from Life Extension that help, it's a natu more natural way to help erectile dysfunction in men. That's what it is, pycnogenol and L-arginine. You know, I put everybody that got COVID and still getting COVID on L-arginine because it really helps your blood vessels. It's a vasodilator. Athletes use it pre-workout, so it's got a lot of uses. Another really interesting thing that pycnogenol may help with is ADHD in kids and adults, and it's definitely very safe. Um, so I've used it for that in some, in some people along with tyrosine um, that seems to help. Um, pycnogenol also will probably increase athletic performance. I did a study with a bunch of triathletes, and they shaved an average of about 10 minutes off their total time uh, when doing a triathlon when taking pycnogenol. They also had a lot less muscle cramping because it increases vasodilation and blood flow. Um, and it seems like it synergizes. It makes other vitamins work better, especially vitamin C, which can get degraded um, pretty soon after you take it, and also CoQ10, which is one of those great supplements for energy uh, that I've been taking for years. Um, so pycnogenol helps us in a lot of ways. I mean, this is an amazing, amazing supplement that as you age, you really ought to think about trying this. Um You'll notice a difference. It won't be in a few days, but it'll be in a matter of um, a few weeks. It's very safe. Um, you could take way, way more than's recommended and still not overdose on this. I mean, it's very, very safe with very few side effects. So pycnogenol, think of that as another nutrient that will help you age better and help a lot of other conditions as well. Any questions, please Come to the office or call us, and um, I can reference you to the book I just completed a few months ago on this. Thank you, and um, hope you have a great week. I'll see you next week. Mm -hmm.